Oops. All right, let's get this show on the road. Well, got to delete a player. Okay. So I got to gain about two minutes. So this category is uh, the all races category, which is literally every race in uh, the entire game. So 10 blitz races, 12 checkpoint races, 10 circuit races. Same goes for San Francisco. Going to start in London because you unlock the panel of GTR1, the fastest vehicle in the game, six races into the checkpoint series. So for the sake of consistency and so that I have something to compare to, I'm going to be uh, using the same splits as uh, the world record holder, that is Muria from Greenlit. I've got about two minutes to make up on him, as you can see. Um, his world record is a 129.54, I'm a 131.46, and uh, taking a break from the game for a little bit. Uh, mostly because I kind of choked away. I was I was pretty much equal to that world record, and then I choked it in the last few races uh, of the campaign just by flipping the car over at 180 miles an hour and sliding off into oblivion and then uh, failing uh, one of the last few checkpoint races. And So I needed to take a break just to keep a calm head. But we're back at it. First six races in the Panels Roadster. Probably the second or third fastest vehicle in the game. And certainly the fastest unlocked right off the bat. Then we switch to the GTR1. Manual transmission. Similar to the crash courses. But let's get going. If thy checkpoint is behind you, this dagger above will prophesy will turn yellow and point behind. So my controller settings are really sensitive. Oof, as you can probably tell, because uh, it's Go set up finish for the GTR1. Uh, and the Roadster is one of the touchiest vehicles in the game. A bit of advice from someone game. young and jaded. Find as many shortcuts as you can. You're going to need them to reach the checkpoints. So Muria's London is actually like really solid. So I'm probably not going to make up any time. I'm just going to try and tie it more or less. It's San Fran where I think I'll be able to make up and and possibly like get the world record. Now go full out for the Always finish. scary through there because of how touchy this is. Now. Take a last good look at these beautiful cars, racing fans. The law of entropy suggests that they will not look this good in about three minutes or so. Spin it out, it's really hard to save it, is the thing with the roadster. We have I know it's not the M1, but that don't mean it can't drive like it is. Now get to it! Let's see how this jump goes. It's always a bit RNG-ish, and uh, it's not going to go well. Nice, just land on your wheels, please. Yay! That's actually mini kind of minimized time loss there. So not so bad. That wasn't great though.
All right, mate. Now go for the finish. All right, I don't have a sixth gear because I'm not in the GTR one. Oh my god, that was not great. But early on in the run, it's not going to be the biggest time loss ever. Or at least it's unlikely to. Welcome to London, England! You're about to redefine the words, bangers and mash! <laughs> Dialogue in this game is pretty interesting, as you can probably tell. <laughs> So my strat here is a bit different from uh, Moria's. Uh. Oh jeez. Oh. Checkpoint series here, but it's really the GTR one set. Have you got your aim to set, Andy? These streets get a bit complicated at times. I don't know what I did wrong there. I think it was just he's getting destabilized over the curb now there. Get to the finish line, mate. That was what cost me, but hard to know exactly. Come on. Oh Jesus, that was bad too. All right, I'm and we're into the G. Oh God. Okay, well we're into the GTR one. We lost a little bit of time here because I meant to go back to the menu. Come on. Shall a beardless driver, a cockered, silken wanton, brave our fields, mocking the air with colors idly spread, and find no checkpoint? So this car is scary because it hates curbs. I just braked a lot to avoid one that's sitting right in the middle of the road there. that for a moment. Nice. I usually goof this one up, so it's actually a decent run of this track at least. Final checkpoint. Now coming track either, uh, especially with it being kind of night and foggy. So I'm going to cut back over the uh, main road there. That bounce I got was actually alright. I don't think there's any traffic in this one. Gotta love that though. That's uh, brilliant. So you can bounce off the wall and gain some speed there, but sometimes the uh, the bumper will get lodged in, and it's uh, re results in really lovely things like that happening. And it's great. It's uh, definitely not one of my least favorite game characteristics. Oh my goodness. Now get yourself to the finish! Yay, oh. time loss. Alright. 
So my PB for London checkpoints is 12.52, but um, Moria's time through the first checkpoint section is 12.27 in his world record, so I lose like 25 seconds, hoping to... It's been a rough checkpoint section, so I'm hoping to just like keep it at that. As sad as that is, like, if I can stay within 25 seconds, it's not the worst case scenario ever. Not sure whether this is the best routing, but it's been a decent Final run so far. Oh, that's brilliant, actually. That was really good. Just gonna keep that up. A bit of advice from someone young and jaded. Find as many shortcuts as you can. You're going to need them to reach the checkpoint. So I go a different route than uh, the AI I do here. So I'm gonna go to the far checkpoint by heading off here to the left. Love it. Love this thing in curves. Yeah, 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 okay. That was at least a decent save. That could have been a lot worse. No. Alright, into the final two. In all my years of urban racing commentary, I've never seen a car like the Panos GTR1 on the streets of London. kind of RNG based, not all curbs will do it, and not all the time either, so it's really great. I love it. Uh, <laughs> okay, thanks. Nowhere to go. Cheers for that one. This upcoming turn, you can take it high speed, but you don't want to take it too high speed. A lot of curbs to hit, it's pretty narrow, and if you crash, it's like really big time loss because, like, effectively, you could have been going 150. Final checkpoint! Wow, uh, 150 miles an hour, <laughs> but instead, you're going zero. So this is actually not a terrible opening uh, stint here. Probably gonna be PB. Just a cherry on top. That was really good, though. Now get to the finish line, mate. This curb always is a pain. Not too bad. That's uh, PB. And only 11 seconds behind, uh, Lovely weather for running a behind Moria, the so that's not bad at all. Because his checkpoint section was actually solid, and I had a bunch of mistakes in there. I 
Unfortunately, I also had a really good circuit in section, so I'm unlikely to necessarily make up any time just trying to equal. Now, it's a real looking this is one of my most hated tracks. Have you not feel the under I'll explain your why when I get to the sections that are bad. And, uh, to kill? Yeah. Only two lap rates. And of course with circuits, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, killing your car. But this corner here, the grass is number one unsta uh, unstabilizing and it can also kind of act as a curb sometimes too. This corner you also want to slow down for. Past 160 miles an hour, the panel's GTR actually starts warping into the ground a little bit. And so any sharp, as it just did there, and so it can really unsteady the car, especially if you're trying to make a turn. So it's worth the checkup in favor of avoiding a, an all-out crash. But every time on the second lap, I have had problems with that, so I'm just going to take it easy. Because losing a second or two is better than losing 10 seconds from a full crash. Come on now, get yourself to the finish! Solid. No London fog today, racing fans. It's clear and funny. Our drivers need only be wary. So I need to try and do this one without resetting optimally, which is tricky. There's a lot of things to hit in this one. I think it was a little slow off the line there, which didn't help. Oops, it but she's narrow. Got kind of lucky with that curb there. Do a little bit of a corner cut. Not sure whether it's worth it here. That bridge won't be up the second time around, which will uh, help me avoid damage. First lap. Now this bridge will be up this time and I'm gonna break because otherwise you'll smash the pillar at the other side. Ooh, hello. Ooh, nice. Rare that I get over that grass without a bump and big, so a little bit of time loss. So that's uh, that's pretty solid. See if I can cut this. Nice, cut that too. Beautiful. I'm not gonna bother trying to cut. Just don't want to get out of rhythm here. Cause I know my way around the corner at least. Oh wow, I have actually never been here while the bridge is still coming down. Ooh. Things kinda scary to drive because you haven't can't tell. Um not in any danger of needing to reset though, so that's good. So when you in a circuit race Now it's a race for the finish line! Oh. When you, uh, when you destroy your car, you it's basically, it parks you, you get a five second GTR penalty, one. and then you respawn. Can I have your so that's why you want to avoid that. The 
this one's nice and cuttable. Just there though, this next corner, uh, the checkpoint's really close to the, uh, the apex, so you gotta take it. I came in a little too hot there, actually. No worries, I might have actually gained time. Turn in really late there, because that curb is deceptive, and it will take you out every time. And then there's a little grassy patch here. I'm gonna slow down, get underneath that kind of 160 uh, warp barrier to keep things safe. It's really not worth the trouble keeping all the speed through there, because you, you'll often spin out, or... But basically, there's a little grass patch there where you want to hit to, uh... Cut the track there. There's no curb. Don't have to worry about that. Just gotta worry about destabilizing the car on the grass and in the turn itself, pretty much. And turning at the right time, obviously, is important. Back off again. Good, good. Probably backed off a little heavily, but again, it doesn't really matter. Throw it in fifth. My gearing points are 25, 50, 75, 100, and... Sorry, 100 and 150 miles an hour. Jesus, I've done that in a while. But no worries, still a decent run through this track. Now get your head, it's to the finish! Oh! record one cuts off to the left there to just skim this checkpoint. I don't really find it super worth doing. Cause it, when you skim the checkpoint you kind of have to take like a weird line and it costs you a lot of speed down that straight even if even though it's sh short straight. Probably take more speed, but I'm always slightly worried of uh, of debris or flipping a curb there. But it's again one of those kind of risks that you have to weigh. Excuse me, mini coopers. Slide into those DMs. Oh my god, I think I knocked that that guy over, and he nearly moved me in the process. That was about as tight as I could have took that. Final checkpoint. Now, get thee to a nunnery. Uh, I'm and we're halfway through the circuit London section already. London calling to the faraway town. The race is declared. So this cut I discovered by watching down. Maria's run. Uh, instead of using the uh, subway, you can just U-turn and go back to the other checkpoints and it's faster. Only a little faster, I think, but still consistently faster. So, worth doing. Until I do that. It's not been a great underground, but it's actually been pretty bad. Please? Okay, Jesus. I thought I missed that one too. Alright, gonna do a better job making sure I clip this one this time. And from this, I should be able to figure out how much time I lost last time around. 
I'm gonna beat these guys up though. Now it's a race to the finish line! I am So like five, six seconds. If you would conjure a win in this race, you must make a circle faster than all the others. This track's pretty fun when you get it right. Very fast and flowing. You want to avoid the curve that's deceptively laid in the corner. That wasn't amazing, but not terrible either. So Muria actually goes into the grass there and does a little cut. It's not like it doesn't cut distance off, it just cuts time off for like having a break for that corner. I find it a little risky and I'm not super familiar with the that strategy. I've never kind of done it before, so uh, I usually try and avoid it. Wow. Could I hit some more vehicles please? Kind of a crappy first lap, not gonna lie. Jesus, this bridge. That was nice. That's that's uh, one of those feels that that is just nice when uh, when you get everything right there and everything comes together. Obviously, I mean, it's going to be better no matter what, because uh, the first lap you start from a stop, obviously. Always scares me when I hit the wall, because, you know, the front can warp in, and that's just not friendly. Generally, you want to avoid airtime there. That was not bad, though. Just a little scary. into the final section of the course. Final checkpoint. No. So give me some royalties is uh, kind of one of the most... In all my <laughs> yeah, years of racing commentary, I've never seen a car like the Panos GTR1 on the streets of London. It's a, the most cuttable course in this game. It's actually hilarious. Like, by a huge margin. So... Gonna cut once here. Just cut off that entire section, no checkpoint there. Second cut through here. First lap's always the riskiest because the barriers can uh, can goof you up, the curbs can goof you up too. You don't know exactly where you're going. Just after I hit this, gonna chuck it in, cut that corner, cut the entire loop off. Hit that checkpoint, cut in after the cars, cut half that loop around, and it makes this corner much less sharp. And one final cut that I learned from Muria is this one. Just straight through there, don't have to go through the kind of technical uh, turn there. And two more of these. That was just a bad place to try and cut. Whoopsie daisy. Should have been over further to the left, but didn't cost me too much time. That was not great. But shouldn't be in danger of uh, killing the car, so no biggie. Uh, 
uh, cut too far right too quickly there. Gotta be careful. Sub one minute lap time here. Gonna have lap traffic to deal with though. So we'll see how it goes. Right on the apex, thanks. Wow, 58. I think that's my fastest lap here ever. I do say, you certainly do seem to be a determined bunch. I refuse to this have This is one of my favorite tracks just because spectacle. it's very technical. It'll be a lot of fun to get right. The curbs aren't a super big pain in the ass also, which is nice. damage. And I Thanks. I don't remember ever having ha that happen before, but that cost me like a solid five seconds, so appreciate it. Learn of this cut from Moria. And then this cuts. Fairly standard, I think. Not a great first lap. But two more to improve. Slash recover. on that pole. I don't remember them doing that. Or, uh, no, I avoided it the first time around. What am I talking about? That was much better. Been a good lap so far. it over either. Must have been an AI. So the panels doesn't like transitioning onto uh, from flat to hill sections, and I think that's what spun me out first lap, now that I think of it. it happens a lot more in San Frank, I'm like, just squeeze past you, please, thanks. Now go <sighs> Thought I missed that for a second. Finish. No. 
Kai, if you win, you'll get a big steaming This one's player. tricky. I got uh, very I fast it. sections, including the back straight, which I really hate. I should, if I get some good laps in here. Uh, so what I, uh, my best is a 38.06, but the world record is a 36.55 through this section. I don't think I'm going to beat, I shouldn't beat that, but some good laps, I'll be maybe only 30, 45 seconds off, which is, which would be nice. Again, he just had, like, Moria had a really, really good London. Always a little unsure where to turn. didn't need that. <laughs> because damage is a bit of an issue on this one. Especially through this section. Because things like that. Plus, Jesus, yeah, this is really rough. I need to kind of be on damage control the next two laps. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to kill the car in that fast section because you're just losing so much time. Instead of going 200, you're going zero. So I might take it really conservative. We'll see how it goes. Lose time though. I'll give it this lap, and depending on how, uh, how damaged I am, I'll make a decision for next lap. If I don't kill myself beforehand, Jesus. Stay stable, please. Please. Okay, not too bad. A little risky though. On to this last lap. Gonna be about a minute behind world record, but still good, probably gonna be PB. I just don't know where he gains all the time in the circuit section, if, if I'm honest. I don't know whether I'm missing a cut or something, but... <sighs> Had to try and go for it. Did pay off. Please? Okay, thanks. Oof. Okay, very conservative through the section then. Herbs decided to fuck me. I'm gonna keep it kinda right along this speed, at least until I get onto a flatter part of the straight. It's just not worth killing the car here, and those bumps into the ground actually contribute to the car dying too. I'm very careful into this last corner. Almost turned in too early. Final checkpoint! Only lost a couple Come of seconds that way. Oops. 
Actually lost five seconds of my P there B there. New London but fog today, racing fans. It's clear and sunny. Our drivers need about. only be wary of the glare. Free time. Shouldn't you be reading a book or something? Never have good luck with this one. Honestly, not too shabby. This one I try and save some time. Now, remember sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I don't lose a ton either. So it's a very why simple not? Principle. So technically you're supposed to go up on the bridge to get these checkpoints. You can actually just hit the walls and grab them that way. Fucking hate this thing when it transitions from flat to non-flat. It's actually unbearable, come on. Not sure if I even saved any time there, but didn't really lose any either. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines. But thy engine cannot be too hot in this self-same race. Oh, I'm d oh no, I did the right way. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Never second guess yourself. Never second guess yourself. This one's interesting because this is the only one where you truly have to go underground to beat it. Um, that was a nice bump, so I should encounter two trains on my run. Down. There's the first one. I'm probably going to try and stay left for the second one. Always scary, though. Getting the car over speed. There's the second one. Here can be kind of nasty too, but that was actually really good. Nice. Now, do drive carefully and sensibly. We do so not I wish to cause time any disturbances in the city. Yes, I did in my PV, and it has not been nearly as good of a blitz run as this one has so far. Fingers crossed. Clouds are bent to dim so your glory and stain your track on the bright passage through the city. So my PB is 45.13. Uh, Muria's run through here is 44.18. Honestly, I've yet to find a way to avoid traffic completely through here, so that is not super shabby. Can I have Jesus. There's a lot going on all at once. I do say, you certainly do seem to be a determined bunch. I refuse to have anything to do with this spectacle. So that voice is meant to be the Queen of England, I believe. Like Queen, uh, Queen Lizzie. The the second. Oh, I'm dumb. I missed my turning point. I know it's not the M1. 
But that don't mean you can't drive like it is. Now get to it! This one's a real pain. Come on. How stupid it is. Nice, hit that one without actually even hitting it. You went. I do say, you certainly so obviously seem not to be a gonna determined be bunch. I refuse to have anything to do with this tied with, with Muria through here. He's, again, his is 44.18 for completing this uh, one. This is the last blitz race by the way so I'm not going to be miles behind either but it's really San Fran by the time it's going to be made up if it is going to be ma uh, made up after all that's gold and on to San Fran and start off with circuit races in a circuit race it's you versus the other cars okay and you can still run. fastest menu switch ever I use windowed mode so sometimes my mouse can get cut off the caught off the screen and that's really uh, a bit of a pain this one's interesting because this corner is glitched <laughs> And this one's got the old transition from flat to, to uphill, which is nice and scary. Fucking hate that curb. It's so far in the corner. Like, it's, like, ridiculous. Pretty much do this entire course in fifth gear if you do it right. Nice and wide this time. <laughs> gonna happen. It's when you're pretty much turning full bore and doing a corner like that 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 happens. Now, head to the finish line, man. So Not bad overall, though. Yo, buckle up. So in this one, a reset is like mandatory, more or less. You're going through a series of hills different things. The track's called Hang Time and kind of lives up to its name. The other thing that can screw you over is the tram. Um, I think it's on lap two where it cross. It tends to cross right in front of you as you go by. Or at least on my pace it does. So I'll watch out for it. See, I'm already half damaged, and it's a three lap race, so. So, I think I'm gonna try going left. Kill 
my car here just because it's worth it to do it here and not on a on somewhere where it can actually cost me time by throwing me off the track. <sighs> what? Second time that's happened over the course of this run, just randomly going over a jump and and having the car be like, nah, not really feeling it. Wow, okay, just two in a row. Thanks. Jesus. It's been a rough last lap. Uh, <laughs> now get to the it was worse line. than the lap where I had to reset. But that's okay. PV's a 106.47 here. Uh, I'm going for a 106.04 is uh, Moria's time. Through this section, obviously a long way to go, not even at the 50 minute mark yet, but worth saying now. That's a really wide curve. Well, it's, I think it's possible to do it on the inside there. I'm not really practiced on that line though, so not gonna bother. as I could have taken that. Pretty scary. Come on, now, let's go. Head to the finish line, man. Alright, this one's interesting. Gonna try and avoid a respawn <laughs> here, but it's you tricky. Break it, you bought it. So the fastest way to do this course is a cut up Lombard Street, so for anyone familiar with San Francisco or this game, it's a street um, that is incredibly highly um, sloped. It's really poorly rendered in this game, but it's fun. And going up instead of... Uh, going all the way around. The other side is faster if you get it right. Oh, that that's always one of those places where you get a little sideways. Gonna try and cut to this side of the road. Nice and tight and lots of curbs to hit on that corner. Really good damage wise so far. I'm usually uh, much worse. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I really just gotta stop talking. I think the game uh, really enjoys messing me up when I think things are going well. carry speed through here and it's dangerous to carry speed there, through there too. Now get to the finish line. Overall, solid. Yo, buckle up. This one's another one. It's pretty long laps, a lot of turns, 
a lot of transitions to uphill looking goofy up. Yeah. Just trying to avoid killing the car. Take everything with as much speed as possible. And see how she goes. Here's the one that always messes me up generally. This grassy transition can sometimes be unfriendly. And because of that I usually wait all the way till the end to turn in. Oof. I usually don't get messed up in that part, but uh, not a bad save. What I found is a solution to uh, getting loose is just not turning all the way, kind of doing a half turn or at least one uh, during the transition point. Been pretty good so far, got some damage. <laughs> Again, said it was pretty good so far. Immediately almost spun. Just not having a good time with that. That, last time through here. Oh, hello, Tran. I'm not used to encountering you usually because I make enough mistakes that... I'm not here, this is a really good mid-tongue uh, mayhem, I believe this track's called. Yeah, I'm always laughing them, that usually Go doesn't happen. In my opinion, you should get a ticket for driving the GTR1 under the speed limit. That car is just meant to go fast. Don't go quite fast enough, they'll ram into the back here. Into that corner. <laughs> this corner's pretty slippery for some reason. As is the one coming up. This this is always an interesting braking zone. place can also be not great. Nice. That curb actually steadied me. Curb taketh and curb. I hope you're ready for some mind blowing urban racing yeah. here. <laughs> it's normally the other way around. But. <laughs> so this one's very precision based. You want to avoid off tracks with a uh, with a uh, an Audi TT or something that actually thinks curbs and grass are somewhat friendly. Uh, you can definitely do some major cuts of this one, but uh, with the panels, uh, yeah, not so much, just want to uh, stay off the curbs. For some reason, always in that section, the car will do one of its ground warps, even though you're not nearly at the speed you normally have to be to, to ground warp. Lots 
the debris on the track. I'm not sure whether that's from me. Probably from the AI. Ooh, hello. I usually don't do that. This car, not super savable. Still more savable than the Panos Roadster. Final time around, Presidio. I think that's how you pronounce it. If uh, San, San Francisco White or San, San Francisco Wean, I don't know what the hell uh, wants to correct me on that, feel free. Now, head to the finish now. Ah, this one's nice and sketchy. Oh, I hate yeah, it. <laughs> I have not showered for days. Nice uphill transition that can possibly goof you up. And then there's this. Oh boy. So, first of all, you have to go on a curb, and then it's like a nice bouncy off road section. Just lovely. It's, it's what the panel craves over that curb, which can sometimes be risky in itself. Back across. And this is one of the ones where you want to uh, avoid damage as much as possible. Let's try this way. Yeah. Ooh, jeez. A little sideways. Luckily on this one you can, on this side you can jump on, but the car can unstable and unstabilize itself, so you always gotta kinda be on your toes. Let's try this side. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Beat the TTs. Sometimes I don't. That curb sometimes nasty. Glad it wasn't. Now, head to the finish line, Wait. man. Safe. Down. All right. So circuit breaker is kind of like San Francisco's. Keep um, this in mind out there. You break it. Soho you Mojo. Body. Something like that. Uh, basically, it's just a really technical track. Again, gonna try and avoid having to reset. That was nice. Sometimes trying to get around those guys, especially with this thing's uh, apprehensiveness to curbs. And immediately I smash uh, one of the fat light posts. I think the far side is where to go. does a lot of damage. And this corner is deceptively soon. Yep.
worry about damage, so full beans. Just send her, bud. And we're off to the, uh... Finish line. Now get to the finish line! That was a really nice second lap. And already we're on the last circuit race. This is I hope you've got either your AC or your looking pretty good. I might actually be right on track with world record into the final 20 or so minutes. So my PB is a 106.47, um, but the world record Muria uh, did a 106.04 through the circuit section. It's always nice and sketch. Very fast again, want to avoid. Curbs. And different things. And this ramp's nice and unpredictable. That wasn't so bad. Could have been better, could have been a lot worse. Again, that grass can sometimes be unfriendly or get you sideways and then you're into a wall and lots of time loss, so better to just give up a little bit of time than to risk it all. Kind of right on that halfway damage marker though, gonna have to be careful. Oof, that was actually a bit of a low jump. Got lucky with the grass there. Take it nice and easy. Nice. Avoided a lot of damage there from different things that can goof you. Very smooth, very steady. And I should be within just a couple of seconds of the world record after this section. What is uh, Muria's time through here is 106.04. Now we're going for the finish. Oh. My goodness, that was almost terrible. Congratulations. Checkpoint. Ten seconds off, but he had some mistakes in the checkpoint section. See how it goes. Here's kind of the intense part. My god, that's that last circuit thing goofed me. <laughs> like, really threw me for a loop. Did not expect that at all. So in checkpoint Final races, checkpoint. you can die. If you get too much damage, same with blitz races, that's going to become a bit of a thing later on in this section. Thanks. Sometimes that curb lets you go, sometimes it doesn't. This is not one of those times. So this one's a little scary because uh, the different aspects that you'll see in it. If I can get through the checkpoint series and I'm ahead, things are looking most likely okay. But it's, this is kind of the critic. This is the. Uh, critical section. Oh, that was not great. That, uh, was, was hoping that didn't happen. But, no big 
big deal. Just a blast down the highway. Now the there's a glitch right at the end of the highway with this car. That will th throw you for a loop. Like that. That was a good save, though. <laughs> you can see how, depending on that, would go. It could just wreck the car and destroy the run, which is just lovely. I love that aspect of it, especially because there's at least two more events where you have to uh, go through that section. <laughs> for good curb RNG there, and it delivered. A little bit more drifting than I had hoped for. That is okay. Gives me more time to line up in this wow, we're section. Going wow, that was perfect. All right. Ay, 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 come on. Not a great start to this one, but shouldn't cost me a ridiculous amount of time. Now, get to the finish line! I go a little wide there, just because it's better to not head on vehicles. So my time, my time through here, so 122, 16.8, this is the section where I lost most of my time. Jesus. I always, always, always jump onto the back of that Cadillac and it costs me time. Um, but this is the section where I lost a lot of my time. Muria did a 120.11. Section. If I can do a sub 120, things are looking on the up. This corner's a little sketch. That's okay. See if I can cut onto the grass here without the car being a jerk. Go at it nice and shallow. Cross the grass. Traffic to mess you up. And to the line, nice. I believe that's halfway through the checkpoint right section. The I'm Faster, but this is my preferred route. Nice. Oof. I saved it. Could have been much worse. Would have had to reverse. I'm gonna have the cop right on me. Gotta make it to the top of this hill. He'll go flying over me, probably. Probably. Final checkpoint! Ay, 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 that pull really goofed me. Cost me a little bit of speed. From. This race is gonna be off the hook, I'm telling you! Remember correctly, it's traffic that can goof you up on this one. But there's a few other races that come through here that are much scarier. Oh, actually, no. This was this was the race that messed me up last time. So I'm gonna take it real easy on this jump. 
Ooh, I almost did a back flip instead of a front flip. So last time I ended up doing a front flip and going way off into the field there. Cost me a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> cost me a lot of time, excuse me. I'm actually going to go off to the side. This is similar to what the world record did. It's just too risky to take that jump with the damage constraint. That's very good, though. Get a good look at these new cars, ladies and gentlemen, because they're not going to look this is the good last the two finish. or three checkpoint races. Cops are truly meaningless uh, unless you go like real slow. <laughs> try and do is instead of risking the curbs, I'm going to just clip it like that. These curbs can be nasty. I don't really want to play with them too much. And then on to the highway for this last blast. Traffic is scary. Now we're going for the finish. But that was a very good run. I'm gonna back off because I don't want to go over the wall. This corner. Nice. I believe this is the sec this is the second go last one. My well, apologies. Or make your own route. It's up to you. Slide to the inside. Curb said, nah. Okay. A bit of a different strategy than the world record here. I actually do this turn instead of going all the way around. Sorry, instead of uh, doing a U turn, I go on halfway up one side of it. Know where I could have gone there. Some more traffic, please. Now, get to the finish line. And one last big bump there, swerving to avoid curbs. <laughs> Sorry, now I have two left. I can't figure All out when checkpoints, checkpoint races end. This one's nasty. Give I hate it. Normally you'd cut over and do some things with the GTR1, obviously you don't want to do that. Mini always mitigating risk in this thing. Traffic has been moderately kind to me, too. Nice. Glad that curb worked. Oof, just barely clipped that checkpoint. That was nice. And I'm on track here for being ahead. This is the last checkpoint race. You don't have to worry about damage, though. Oh jeez, that was dumb. I can't believe that, okay. Just flip me over soon, please. 
now? Thanks. At least I avoided damage from that curb, although I did get a lot of damage as things stood. It's not a huge deal, though. Should not have braked, though. <laughs> Over the top of that hill, that was real dumb. Slow down, just don't want to mess myself up through here. There's no traffic, don't have to worry about that. That turn was further than I thought. This hasn't been a quick run. I'm gonna try and skip the turn. That did not work. And one final blast down the highway. So 120.11 is what I'm looking for. And as long as the end of this bridge doesn't now skip me. For the finish. Should be very close. Wow, I got very lucky there. Didn't mess with me. Alright, final seconds of the run. I'm like two seconds ahead. This is so close. Summer of love? Good final blitz split. And I might have it. But gotta be very consistent. Most here. Californians run screaming when they see a cloud. I this like is normal by the way. It stops right there, forces you to go around them. Things like that happen a lot. It's going to be close. This one's nasty. There's so much traffic. You're never going to avoid it all. Just got to do it as best you can. Seriously? No big stoppages yet. So things are going okay. As far as I'm concerned. Seriously, come on. Over here, over there. Point. Come on. Come on. That was interesting. Last scary run down the uh, freeway. Be strong. There's going to be a car here that's going to turn left, right. Oh, no, just kidding. Come on. Not great, but not terrible either so far. side here to avoid thing the uh, curb <sighs> Jesus Open. <sighs> Jesus Christ 
saving for a nice run through here. Save it. Nice. And a quick turn here. Nice. Jesus, I gotta be careful with how I'm hitting buttons. This race is gonna be off the hook, I'm telling you. This marks the halfway point. This race uh, at the end of it. I did the uh, the sideways thing there. I'm having good fortune with this traffic lately. I really gotta shut up though. <laughs> Out of anybody's hand. World record is a 129.54, as you see. Could be very close. Very, very close. I hate that. I did this last time in my PB2. Thank you, Kari. Actually, assisted me with getting back going again. That was ideal. Jesus, this car's launching all over the place. Not a huge deal, though. Thought I missed that for a moment. Technically, you should be able to go under. Hit them. That's the more conservative way, and it usually ends up being better anyway. In my opinion, you should get a ticket for driving the GTR1 under Ah, this one's interesting. Just meant to go Bit back. of a meme. Come on. Bit of a slow end, but it's fine. Final three, I think. The GTR1 could beat these other cars if it never even shifted out of first. I am terrified. <sighs> Jesus Christ, it's been doing that so much to me lately. Keeping me on my toes, I guess. Jesus Christ! Don't want to carry so much speed that you go in the water. Definitely could have taken more speed. Not this far into a run, though. off there. Didn't want to miss it. Last two, hey, I think. Hey, what's that smell? Oh yeah, it's me. I have not showered for days. So you actually want to go the other way. To be at least be facing traffic going in the same direction as you. Okay. 
Last one, looking pretty good. This has been a good blitz faction. Keep this in mind out there. You break Ooh, it, boy. you bought it. 129.54 is what I'm going to beat. As long as I beat this, I'll have it. Up, down the hill. Up the other side. Could have taken more speed. I have taken more speed uphill. I do not care. Okay job for your Freightliner fire truck. Not too shabby. London obviously could use some improvements, but gold splits on the rest. That's not bad at all. Lots lost probably like easy 10-15 seconds with the flip over on uh, on Panode's pressure. Um, if I was to give a guess for what is possible like in a perfect run I don't know probably sub 128 but good luck having everything go your way every single race Whew. just uh, additional proof showing that everything was done So this, these tra basically this, these traffic um, densities don't unlock unless you've completed it. And I showed at the beginning of the run that it's a brand new uh, profile. Well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.